Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Now I have this big box here and on the top it says High Definition Home Game Machine. So I'm, you know, what, what the heck does that mean? High Definition Home Game Machine. Well, it's a multi-game family box with professional design and reliable quality. Alright, so what does that mean? Still have no idea. Anyway, let's take out the box and get a better idea what we're looking at. All right. Wow. So we've got quite a few things in here. All right, there's a some cable, power cable, AC DC adapter. Let's put this over here for now. Um we have here a uh, HDMI cable. So I'm guessing I'm going to be using a TV with this thing. We have us here a USB cable, nice blue one. And here is a VGA cable. All right. And here is the user manual. So you see a picture or something on there. That's exactly what we're going to be looking at. And don't worry if you can't see it, if you didn't see that too well, we're gonna see the real thing in a second. Alright, so let me take off this protective covering here. These are some spare buttons, a red and a black one. Yeah, this looks this looks really nice. This looks good. Let me just take it out this way. And you can see it for yourself. Alright, this looks good. This looks really good. Uh, uh, look at this. Now, isn't that a sight for sore eyes, huh? So you can see it has the lovely Street Fighter 4 imagery on it. it looks really good. There's a you know, black joystick with black buttons. This one is a red joystick with red buttons. So it's, uh, it's an arcade system, right? And you can use this on your big screen TV at home and have oodles and oodles of fun. And there's nothing else in the box. So let me just throw that away over here. Yeah, this looks really good. So it comes, as, I, as you can see here, with these uh, extra buttons, right? Uh, these are spears, and they have all the contacts and, and thing in here. So it's uh, just plug, just plug them in uh, to the uh, the wires at the back, and easy to install. And what I will do is on my blog. I will actually uh, should be able to find the link to get replacement the, the additional replacement parts for this. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that as well. So here's everything here. Here are the cables, power supply. What's good about this is that there are a lot of these uh, joystick systems on the market today, but they're just joysticks. What you would normally have to do is then get a PC and you know install your games on the PC have a front end like Hyperspin where you can actually have a nice menu where you can go through all your games and stuff and then play them on, this, on the big screen TV, right? Um, or you can build an arcade machine and that's what this is, you can use this for as well. A nice little arcade cabinet, you get a PC, you put the games on that, the ROMs and all that, set it up and you have a nice system. But what's good about this, this actually comes with the games pre-installed. But yeah, this is an all-in-one system, so you don't need a, this is a, a PC, joystick, everything in one, right, which is really, really cool. Now, it's, I always say in all of my videos, there will be links below this video where you can get yourself one of these lovely systems, right? Um, and these are great too, like if you want to set up an arcade system in your basement and you want to get a couple of these, go for it, go wild. Link is below this video, check it out. All right, so... Um, what else? Let me just pull this out and let's look at this a little bit closely here. Wow, this looks really nice. Actually, I'm just looking at this power supply. Uh, what's good about this power supply is that this cable uh, with this uh, plug on it that won't work in North America, it's detachable. So I don't even need to get an adapter for this. The good thing is, is that I have this three hole prong here um, socket. It's a, a standard, right? Pretty much a standard that's used across all electro electrical devices. So I can simply get a cable, a power cable, like a monitor cable, 
uh, that can plug into this and I'm good I have power so you can get power cables of course from any electronic store and if you're like me and you have a lot of tech lying around I'm sure I can find a power, a power cable somewhere that can plug into this so don't worry don't panic about it you can still get your unit no matter where you live because you have this plug here if you're if the plug that it comes with which is this doesn't fit your wall receptacle don't panic um, there are lots of cables that have this standard plug in right so just get one of these that plugs into your where the, where the other plug plugs into your plug and then you can just plug it into here and you're good right So looking at this a little closely here, let's look at the buttons. Now most of you are asking, are these arcade style buttons arcade quality? Are, are they designed for serious button mashing? Right? And I will honestly tell you they do feel strong. You can pound these, you know, just like you would in a normal arcade. The joystick, you can actually feel the click, you hear the click. Right, eight directions. You can hear the clicking sound, so you you have that tactile feel, which is really really good, and it's very important when you're playing games like Street Fighter 4, for example, um, when you're doing your moves. Right, uh, it's it feels pretty fluid. It feels very nice, and when we test it out on some games, um, we will you know really know for sure. But I can tell you right now. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. The plastic is strong, it's durable. You can feel the clickiness of the uh, joystick, the eight directions. All right, you hear that? And uh, what I like about these keys as well, the layout, all right, the two by three, um, is you know which is ideal for fighting games. And if you are a hardcore uh, Street Fighter fan, for example, or Mortal Kombat, you know you you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? The two by three button configuration. It's easy to know where the buttons are for your combo moves. Um, it's pretty pretty well laid out and then here we have our one player button and here is the play pause button and on the right hand side we have the same configuration but with black buttons we have a black joystick and the joystick also has that nice uh, clicking clickiness to it eight directional um, eight direction uh, joystick uh, two player button here and over here is our play and pause button and again we have these lovely nice big arcade keys that you can smash and you don't have to worry about breaking them now it does come with two um, replacement buttons um, one red one black and the switches as you can see they have these two little contacts so inside the device because uh, you can easily open it there's some screws along the bottom here uh, to get into the device uh, it's just a plug right the plug plugs into these two contacts and um, the installation is pretty straightforward now on the side here they have these clips that actually spring in inwards so it's easy right if you press them in this can come out right this can come out of the little hole and then when you push them in they click in place right so it's very easy to replace these buttons um, so it comes with two and what I'll do I'll research where you can find additional replacement buttons um, and I'll post that link on our website on my blog page at redtechbot.com and again Check the link below this video if you want to get yourself one of these lovely systems uh, because I do have a direct link to the online store. Now what is good is too, they have across the top in English, you know, that you have to press the play pause button to stop the game and then you can continue or return to the game menu, right? So that's pretty much like your escape key or back button. You, you get out of your game, just press that button and you go back to the main menu. Now. I must stress that, that this is not just a basic, um, uh, nice looking um, uh, arcade joypad, right? Uh, or arcade console. Um, it actually comes with a built in computer, built in PC uh, that has, uh, I believe it's over a thousand games um, installed. When we hook it up to the TV and turn it on, I will confirm, but I do know it has a lot of pre installed games. 
So along the along this, the front here, there are one, two, three um, Phillips uh, screws. So it's really easy to open this thing, uh, the front. Um, let's turn it around here. Uh, on the side right here, you see there is a cooling fan, right? Because it does have a built-in PC unit and it will get warm. So that cooling fan is good for extracting the air. And on this other side, we have uh, vents, uh, holes, of course, right? So the fan is uh, pushing the air through. It's going to suck air in here and it's going to push it out the other side, right? Which is a really, really good cooling system. All right, so the fan this way would extract the air and suck in air in this side. So it has a cooling effect of the internal components during gameplay. Now, along the back here, let's see. We have a number of screws here. We have one, two, three uh, Phillips screws on this side and three on this side as well. And I'm looking here and I see a hinge assembly on both ends. So what I figured was going to happen is that when you uh, loosen the screws at the uh, the three screws at the front, this whole thing just opens up like a like a box. And I believe they do call this a Pandora's box, and maybe that's why they do call it a Pandora's box, right? It opens up like a box and uh, you can get easy access to the internal components uh, if you have to change anything or make any mods. Now what I love about this as well is if you look closely here you have all of the ports and switches easily nicely labeled. Um, we have our power switch right here, a nice big rocker switch, a red one. Um, here is our 12 volt 5 amp uh, power, um, power port, so of course you plug our power um, supply into there we have our HDMI port right over here and then if you're not if your television does not have HDMI because it's an older TV or if you have a monitor which doesn't support uh, um, HDMI they've also given us a VGA port as well and it came with both cables right as you saw HDMI cable and a VGA cable now there is an audio cable as well so if you want to have fun playing your arcade machine um, but you don't want to use external speakers um, you can actually hook this up to your headphones but if you're like me and you have a lovely um, set of um, external speakers or home entertainment system this is where the sound supply comes from so you just plug your 3.5 millimeter jack into that and then you're good to go with some lovely arcade sound now here's our volume there's a little volume uh, potentiometer here or volume switch uh, it actually just uh, right you can move it from left to right it's actually um, pretty good as well so that can control the volume um, what I would recommend if you already have an external um, sound system just crank this up higher like 75 percent and use your part your your home entertainment systems volume to control the volume because it will be a little cumbersome especially if you put this in a cabinet uh, trying to get your hand behind here to adjust the volume but it's there anyway right here is a config button right you press that down I'm guessing that that is for uh, resetting the device but it's it's right here and here we have two USB ports now what I love about that is I'm guessing um, you can actually add additional games an external hard drive you get my drift right to add additional uh, additional content if you want to play additional content um, additional ROMs and you know what uh, but you do have those two there as well and I what's good about this as well um, you have USB ports so there's a PC inside of here so obviously, wouldn't it be great if you were to hook up a keyboard and a mouse? That's what these are for as well. So if you want to hook up a, you know, additional um, input devices, you can use those USB ports for that as well. Um, and that comes in handy if you're going to be doing um, doing mods or anything to this, like adding additional content, uh, doing any configurations, checking stuff out. Uh, that you can do all that as well. Now, guys. Let's really get to the dessert now of this, this meal here. Let's hook it up to my 50 inch Samsung TV and, and play it. Now, I'm going to do two things. In this particular move, uh, video, I'm just going to show you how you can you know, use it for home use, hook it up to your TV um, and play. And that's, and that's what it's for. But it also can be used as well. Um, if you're like me, you want to go all out. You are a fan of the arcade cabinet. You know those old fashioned cabinets? built of wood they weigh like 200 pounds and you used to suck they used to suck like quarters from you you just just fed them quarters and you played your favorite games of centipede uh, space invaders street fighter mortal kombat remember those cabinets they stand about you know just over six feet tall yeah well 
why not if you wanted to you know invest in a cabinet get a shell um, you can get them on eBay um, I will also blog about where I got my particular cabinet from uh, if you're interested you can also check out my um, my blog page uh, at redtechbot.com hit the link below and I will take you it will take you to the to that particular um, post um, but you can also build your own cabinet and then um, if you if you didn't have this system you can actually get a PC you know you could put ROMs on it you can put a, a front end on it like hyperspin and then you can you know hook it up and to a, a monitor and you have a, a home arcade system but thanks to this you don't even have to have a external PC you can just get your cabinet you can you know install a, a monitor in it a computer monitor and then you can just hook this up to it and you have an instant arcade machine as well so um, but what I love about these guys is that not everybody's going to want to do that. If you just want to take it out of the box, hook it up to a TV system, put it on a tabletop like this and have some instant arcade fun, that's what this is for as well. I love this thing. Okay, enough chit chat, let's hook it up to the TV. So guys, remember when I said we had that issue because it came with, it came with this plug, which is not North American, right? And I have this end. Because it has this end, I can replace this. Uh, with this cable, I actually got this on the back of one of my other monitors, but you can go to any hardware store and get these as well. And this is my North American plug, and the plug at this other end is the same end as the other one, right? Because it's a standard um, uh, outlet plug for, for power supplies, um, so or TVs or monitors. Anyway, so I can plug this now into here, and no problem solved. I have the power supply. Now one thing I noticed about this power supply is that the one it comes with, it actually has an LED indicator which is good so you know when it's on or not. But it also comes with these two um, pre-drilled pre holes here. This is very good because if you're going to set this up inside of an arcade cabinet, you can actually mount this on the inside of the cabinet right? because of these two screw holes. So that's really nice. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is simply make sure that the power switch is off. I'm going to plug this into my power port there, All right, that goes in there. And then I have my HDMI cable that's plugged into my big screen TV. I'm going to plug this into the HDMI port right here. So when you turn on the machine, this is the lovely menu that you get greeted with. Now, uh, I didn't have time to change this into English, but I can go into the settings and change it into English. But I'm just so excited to show you this. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, just show you what the, some of the games on this thing look like. Um, and I believe it comes with uh, 875 pre-installed games. That's 875 games on this thing, ready to play, right out the box. Um, and what's good about it is that when you highlight the game, you get a preview of the game on the right-hand side, so you can see all of these games. And there's a lot of great arcade games. Uh, titles in here. Uh, I see Samurai Showdown. Uh, a lot of the, you know, if you're if you're into the classic, real hardcore arcade games, you're gonna find them on this box. So one other thing I want to show you before we start is at the bottom of this box. It's a metallic box, by the way, just in case you're asking. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet, uh, little feet, and they're rubber, right? Now that's very important because if you're going to be playing this on a tabletop and you're playing games like Street Fighter and other action games, arcade games, there's going to be a lot of movement, right? So you want to rub some rubberized feet that keep it in place. You don't want it sliding all over the place. So that's a really good added feature as well. There's a built-in speaker in here so you can have your gameplay sound through this. Or if you don't want to have it play through this, simply turn up the volume on your television set or plug in an external uh, sound system and you have surround sound so the option is there as well let's have a look at some of the games
Now what is also really cool about this game system is the fact that, yes, it does light up in the dark. And you actually get a little light show as you can see right here. So there are some multicolored LEDs that are just behind the buttons and they actually do change color and it gives you that real arcade effect.
so there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is the Pandora 5S this particular model comes with around 875 arcade games and from looking at that gameplay these are all pretty much like all the originals uh, so if you are a hardcore arcade guy used to being in those smoke filled B.O. smelling arcade, um, arcades, uh, arcade places uh, from back in the day this will bring back a lot of memories um, great home entertainment plug and play no configuration necessary plug it in hook it up to TV and here you go comes with a built in sound system so if you don't want to use the sound the screen on your uh, the sound system on your TV you can use it through this so that means it comes in handy for if you have a monitor or something that doesn't have a speaker no worries you can use the built in speaker in this um, and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is actually in part two of this I'm actually going to put this into an arcade cabinet shell that I have um, and just show you the experience of having arcade style quality games in the all in one system uh, in a cabinet, right? So you can really get that stand up in front of the arcade box feel uh, and gameplay. Anyway, I'm sure that you're salivating now and you want to get your hands on one of these lovely uh, game home systems. Well, as I always say, click on the link below this video, get yourself one of these lovely Pandora 5S gaming systems right now. Okay, so anyway, until next time, happy gaming. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Leave comments below. And uh, yeah, uh, also check out my website as well at uh, redtechbot.com for more great tech and gadget reviews and gaming reviews on hardware just like this. Okay, so until next time, this is Ricky signing off. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, two quick things that I need you to do right now. One is hit the subscribe button below this video. And I strongly urge that you do subscribe to this channel because what we've started doing now, end of month giveaways. Now to be eligible to win uh, a prize at the end of the month, what you have to be, you have to be subscribed to this channel. So subscribe, press that subscribe button below. That's step number one. So it's a two step process to be eligible to win. One, subscribe. That's very, very important. Two, go on to our website at www.redtechbot.com and on that website, on the top right hand corner there is a newsletter uh, that you must subscribe to enter your email address in that and that's it you are eligible you'll be eligible to win our, our end of month uh, prize draws now I just repeat myself one more time number one hit the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to the channel that's one of the requirements and two you have to go onto our website at www.redtechbot.com and subscribe to our newsletter in that newsletter, you'll get all the details about what's being given away at the end of the month, uh, who the winners are, and other important news as well. And in terms of getting more information on how the draw is going to work, and you know how we're going to pick the, uh, the individual, how we're going to communicate, and everything, uh, all the details will be on our website as well at www.redtechbot.com. So until next time, happy gaming and have a good one, guys. Okay, so see you later, guys.